Kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. I appreciate you coming out to check out this 2016 yard machine, 20 inch cut. This one came in a group of four for 70. I tackled this one first. It was a complete unit. We had looked at the uh, fuel in the tank with a turkey baster and we discovered that it was nearly 99% water in the tank. So, what we did is clean the carburetor, got rid of the water in the tank, dried all that out, put it all back together. I spray painted the overhead valve cover here that had some surface rust on it, and I also did the um, engine block as well, sharpened the blade. Have not touched the uh, engine oil yet. I'll have to uh, change the oil here, but I wanted to show you something with the uh, the gas tank. I'll start this and uh, keep your eyes on the, the gas tank. Yeah, we got a little bit of fuel in there. So you saw the uh, gas tank jumping around. That can be uh, fixed, and I'll show you how. If Horatio and Henrietta, the homeowner, show up, they see the tank dancing around like that, they may not be interested in buying the unit. I'll show you how we can get that jumpiness to cease and desist. You first remove the recoil cover. That needs to be taken off so you have access to the tank. Nobody wants a jumpy gas tank. So I may have to bring you off the stand here in a minute, but what we're gonna do is lift the uh, tank off of the recoil base here. Remove the air filter cover. This tank has the uh, breather. That's why you remove the air filter cover. So the, the uh, tank actually is not bolted down. It sits in these two slits here. The pressure of the recoil keeps the um, tank down. You see two metal tabs here, the um, bottom of the uh, brackets here from the plastic tank sit on these two tabs. Those are actually bendable. What we're gonna do is bend the tabs up 
slightly and what that'll do is shorten the distance of the track here so you bring in the tank up slightly higher and then the recoil on top is going to sandwich it and make it not jump around let's sandwich that tank so take your channel locks bend up the two tabs and then we're going to put the tank back on in the recoil give it a shake see if it's nice and tight you might have to do it a couple of times keep bringing those metal tabs up you don't you don't have to remove the fuel line there's an, enough um, flexibility to get the tank on and off without removing the fuel fuel line We may have to snug it up one more time, but let's try it. better but I'm gonna adjust it one more time you can see those tabs from here but I'll bring you down so you're using your channel locks you're just moving this tab up to put upward pressure on the tank.
Those are eight millimeter bolts on the top, screws, three of them. So you're not going to be 100% solid on that. It's uh, plastic. But that uh, adjustment really helped it out, moving those two tabs up. Puts more pressure on the tank. So I think the potential buyer would go along with that. Just somebody that doesn't know engines would be concerned with so much movement in the tank. Probably wouldn't make a dif difference either way. It's just a visual thing. Anyway, 2016 yard machine, now it's ready to go. If you guys have a jumpy fuel tank and you want to adjust it, that's how you do so. So I'll add this yard machine to my stash of fixed mowers, just getting ready for season to creep up on us. I want to try to get a big stash of mowers ready to go so I can start blowing them out the door. As always, I appreciate you coming out, checking out Tommy Time. Please like and subscribe. And as always, tip your waitress and wait staff. They're doing a fantastic job.